Got it. All right, let's go live. Here, oh, whoa, 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 YouTube. You are one tremendous YouTube, YouTube. What's your YouTuber? Okay, here we go. And we are live on YouTube. How's it going? How's it going, YouTuber friends? This is your friend, Jose Trujillo. The one and only. The world's greatest living artist, for that matter. Beautiful. Let's get this painting started, you guys. Let's do this. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a full-time artist. I'm a full-time artist. I'm here in, in my studio. Back, the background noise you hear are my uh, my wife and my assistant, or their assistant, packaging artwork, shipping artwork. Um, it's been uh, it's been quite a journey. Being a being an artist, being a full time artist, and I'm gonna do a little demo right here. So you guys can see some of the stuff that I do. Look at that. B E A beautiful. Beautiful. Look at all this. So I've been painting for over 25 years now, and full time I've been I've been doing this for 11 years, full time now. It's been a lot of fun. Lots of uh, lots of work. Lots of ups and downs. Um, however, uh, I've been lucky and a little a little. Uh, Perseverance. A little perseverance also helps. L luck and a little perseverance helps. And then bam! This is what we do. the trick beautiful Look at that. Thank you so much. Oh, merci. Merci beaucoup. Du François. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Jose only does beautiful stuff around these parts of town. Who's watching? I, I want to know who's watching. Say hi to me, you guys. Don't be like that. 
It's not every day that I'm I'm live on YouTube. Don't be like that, you guys. Say hi to me. Tell me your name and, and, and where you're watching from. Are you in the US of A? Are you in the Americas? Or are you uh, outside the Americas? Where are you at? Look at that. You B E A beautiful. Bam, that's a good painting, Jose. Let's see. Never seen this live. Alan, thank you so much. Israel. Oh, I love that. All the way, all the way from Israel. Love that. Very cool. Houston, Texas, Lisa. Tel Aviv. Oh, nice. That is so awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching from Ireland. Oh, I love that. I love all the way from Ireland. I'll send you a big hug to Ireland. I, I love my Irish friends. All the way from Ireland. Snow in Los Angeles. Oh, nice. Where is that at? Where is snow in Los Angeles right now? Probably mountains, huh? Larry from uh, Port Ritchie, Florida. Nice. How you doing, Larry? Good to see you here. America here. I love that. This is so cool. Houston, Texas. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in Texas in a couple of weeks. I'm in Arizona, you guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. I'll be in Texas in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go uh, visit some friends out there. Painting is looking great. Thanks so much. Mountain down 1,000 to 1,500 feet. Nice. I'm going to put this little mint color right here in this painting. Beautiful. And then let's do our sky. Um, I'm going to use the same mint that I'm using to start to get the, the, the sky started. It's a mixture of mint and gray. And, and this will get us, uh, this will get us started. Look at that. Otherwise known as a, as an artist gray. When you mix all the colors that, that are left over in your, in your paint palette, after you finish painting, if you mix them all and you add a little bit of white, you create this color, which is, which is known as. As, some people think it's a dirty color, right? But it's not. It's an artist gray. It's it's basically just a mint or a blue gray, blue greenish or blue mint or blue blue uh, or just a blue gray. And I love it because it makes all the other colors pop because of it has so much gray. Gray gray is the great equalizer when it comes to colors. It makes all the other colors become uh, visible. It balances everything out. <laughs> Look at that little mountain. Let's see, I may do some painting. Uh, they're also nice. Where is it? Gold hunting? Greatest living artist, grace to all. Thank you so much. Who's this? Uh, Price wins. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, you like the artist Jack B. It's Irish master painter. Oh, nice. You know, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't done my homework on Irish artists, to be honest. So I, I would have to look him up. How long do your paintings take to dry? Probably helps here in Arizona. It does. It takes about, it takes about three weeks to dry, in a, in a in a colder or humid climate but during the during uh summer here our summers are are excruciatingly hot it dries really fast the paint the paintings will dry within less than less than two weeks the painting will be completely dry dry to the touch that is right uh it, it'll still be 
wet under the the film right under the film of the painting but uh but it's it's safe enough to ship yeah it, it dries it dries very fast here look at this painting let's make it a let's make it a nice wild sky Beautiful. I'm gonna bring my my uh, my other paintbrush. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a slightly wide wider this one right here. Uh, pretty things. Thank thank you so much. I appreciate it. So I usually do lives on uh, on Instagram. I'll be uh, I'll be live on Instagram just about every day, twice usually twice. Um, and then I try to be live also. I try to go live on Facebook as well, um, as often as I as I can, uh, probably twice a month. I'll, I'll do it on Facebook. But um, but then I thought about about YouTube, and I'm like, I haven't been live on YouTube. I need to go live on YouTube. So the trick to my painting really is is lots of lots of brushing and making sure that the 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 the, the paintbrush has lots of paint. It's loaded with paint. The paintbrush has to be loaded with paint for, for this trick to come out the way it does on my paintings. Very juicy, very, very heavy, lots of lots of body. Very heavy body paint. I'm going to mix some purple and some red. And we're going to put it up here a little bit. Purple and red. And that kind of ties the mountains with the sky a little bit. Kind of gives it a little uniform, whatchamacallit. some more of that mint color that I was mixing. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's mix it a little bit more blue. something like this so we have some layers in this wild sky there we go and now uh, what i can do is is uh to top it off is get some white just just white nothing else nothing mixed to it just white and just do a a few little brush strokes like this a few little taps like this look And guess what? Those are our stars. It could be a starry evening or a starry night. Like, uh, maybe like Van Gogh's. Look at that. We'll put 
the Milky Way somewhere around there. We'll put the the Big Dipper. No, we'll just we'll just throw stars in there. We'll let people figure out the the astronomy. We'll let people figure out the astronomy part. And those are our little stars all over. How's that? Maybe we could do something like that. There we go. Now let me sign this. We're not done yet. We're not done. We got more stuff to do. We got more paintings to do. At least one more. And we do this and we're going to sign Trujillo right there. That way people don't forget. People don't forget we, we have to sign the, the painting. I'll clean my palette a little bit and we'll get we'll get another another canvas started. Let's do it. My paintings are, are hover between the realism and abstraction somewhere between the, the expressionist and the impressionist. They hover between there. And the way that I need to get them done in order to acquire those those bold and, and, and fast uh, brush strokes, the painting has to be done in a in a in a in a faster way than, than usually other artists do it. This is what allows me to to move the brush in certain ways that otherwise I would would have never have the option to. Let's put a let's put a, a star that is just a, a flying star or a shooting star, not a flying star. I don't think stars fly, but maybe they they shoot. I don't know. Something like that. That's my dog in the background. Look, let's put a shooting star right here. Could be a meteor. Who knows? Look at that. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. Let's do one more. Uno más. Uno más. Let's do one more. This time around, we're gonna do something slightly different. One of the one of the things I like to do is change up my my subject matter, so that it's it doesn't all appear the same. It helps me stay engaged and and I have fun with that changing the subject matter. Let me put another canvas there, and this is gonna be a lot of fun. So what you heard me do right now is I apply a little bit of walnut oil on the paint. Sorry, I apply a little bit of walnut oil on the canvas. And uh, let me see. Let me read the comments. Sorry, I haven't I haven't read the comments. I love that you stress showing up to work over worrying about expensive equipment and paints and brushes. Absolutely, it's more important to just show up. I'm a longtime subscriber. Uh, great to see you live today. And your work is very inspirational and positive to the character shines. Thank you so much. Salty heart. I appreciate that. Barry Banks says, you sent me on my own art journey. Now I'm an Etsy, eBay shop. I'll uh, hail Jose. I love that. Thank you so much, Barry. Well, you've done that all on your own. So congratulations on that. Love you, man. Carol, thank you so much, Carol. Uh, I bought my first oil because... 
Oh, for you. My first oil is nice. Well, that's a, that's a good thing to celebrate. I love that. Beautiful. Makes me very happy to know that, that uh, the content that I've been posting on online, whether it's on uh, YouTube, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, and on uh, now on uh, on TikTok, I've been doing some some, some stuff on TikTok. I'm glad that uh, that it means something, that it's that it helps it helps artists out there. So that makes me very happy. Beautiful. Let's see. Bernie says, beautiful. Jose, love your style. Uh, lots of brush strokes. Congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Start off by doing a very simple design. Very, very simple design right here. And then that's this is going to be the the starting point of our painting. Thank you, Marcel. <laughs> and then we're gonna have a little, little bumblebee right here. A little bumblebee, just for fun. Burning from Colorado, from Colorado. I love that. Okay, let's do some, uh, let's make some flesh tones. That way we can put our, we can put our, our painting, we can get this, this flesh tone started. And again, everything is, it, it's slow and fast. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to, uh, it's slow but very direct that it becomes fast right it's like taking your time but uh who said it best i think wyatt earp said it best like he was talking about being a you guys you guys remember the the stories of, of wyatt earp those of you in, in in the u.s he was a he's like a mythical uh cowboy in the US um, he was asked he was, a, he was a sheriff I think 
he was asked, uh, what was uh, what was the secret to him surviving the the Wild West? And he said, uh, um, he said you have to be very you have to be very fast, but take your time. You have to be very fast, but you have to take your time at the same at the same time as you're being fast. And so I think he describes that better than anyone else that I've heard. I know, and 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 you know, it has nothing to do with painting. But I just I remember reading that phrase, and I was like, that's exactly, that's exactly it. It made so much sense in my mind when I when I read that. From the from the old, from the old cowboy. Be fast, but take your time. Be fast, but not sloppy. Maybe, maybe that's another way of saying it. It's a jockey or a miner. Yeah. Private investigator. There you go. I like that. Always a pleasure watching you. Were regards from uh, Lisbon, Portugal. Oh, I love that. Lisbon, Portugal. I have a friend uh, on on uh, on Instagram. His name is Tiago. He's from Porto, Portugal. He's always talking to me about how about how great Porto is. And I, I told him I now I want to go to Porto. I want to go. I want to go to Portugal, Portugal, and and uh, visit him and and. Uh, and get to see uh, Porto. Barry says, when was your last holiday and where did you go? Where did I go to my last holiday? Oh, man. You know, I haven't gone anywhere uh, uh, anytime, anytime uh, that I can recall fast. Um, I think my last my last holiday was was D.C. I think we went to D.C. My, my, my wife, uh, our son and I, we all went to D.C. I love I love DC. I love the museums there. I mean, that's really the the, the major thing for me is the museums. The portrait museum, the portrait gallery, and 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 uh, I don't know. There's so many museums. It's just so cool too. So cool to visit. The airport is amazing. Visit on my hitchhiking trip. Oh, nice. Oh, it's okay. English is my second language, uh, uh, Carl. So don't don't even worry about it. I think we understand each other just fine. Uh, was that when you took your work to the gallery guy? The gallery guy was a con man. Uh, no, no. When I took my my work to the gallery guy who was a conman, that was that was in New York. That was a long time ago, in in New York City. That was in uh, in uh, Chelsea. Chelsea in New York. Yeah, that was a while back. Yeah, I, I often remind artists to be careful when when you uh, when you go to uh, show your work and 
make sure that you are you know exactly T today is, is a lot less uh difficult to get scammed or or you know it, i mean it, it's it's a lot more difficult that's what i'm trying to say because uh there's just so much online so much stuff online when i did that i i i didn't have anything online like the very little you know the, there was no information about anything and so people could just tell you anything they could tell you i'm gonna i'm gonna do a, an exhibit for you and then you buy into it and then you realize that that they told the same thing to 50 other artists and and never had an, any intention on showing your work and there's no way to track them the only way to track them is to to go to the exhibit and find out there was no exhibit at all um look at that The way I like to do it is I, I paint I paint everything first, the, the, the subject matter, and then I go and I paint the background. But first, first I, I, I take care of the subject matter. In this case, our figure here, who could be a potentially a jockey or, or a, a miner or, or a private investigator. I like to leave my figures um, out in the uh, in the open, not not um, not to tell exactly what's happening, not to give all the information. It leaves some suspense in there. We're not really sure what what this figure is doing, what what they do, who are they, what's their what's their plan. Ambiguous, right? Keep it ambiguous. Uh, it helps to the. To build a the, the story in the painting, you don't you don't want to know everything in a painting. You don't want to know everything in a, in a. I mean, you want to, and that's why you keep reading. But it's best to not know everything. Right? It, it adds to the story. It adds to the suspense. If you look at something at a painting or a story or whatever, and you know everything, uh, then there's nothing to ponder. Right. There's absolutely nothing to ponder. So I, 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 I'm a believer that a good story needs to have a needs to have lots of uh, spaces that that are unresolved. Uh, it was an awful experience. It was so real. I felt your pain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you ever do some plein air paintings? If so, have you ever videos? You know, I haven't done plein air painting in over 12, 12 years. I've done plein air painting in a long time. I admire your persistence and hard work, Jose. Skillful and beautiful. Well done. Thank you so much, Jackie. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do now with this beat? We're gonna put a. We're gonna put some color right here in this bee. Cool. And we're all relieved to know that Jackie didn't make errors. I was so stressed about it. I'm not lying. I was like really stressed when I started doing the research. I'm like 23 and me making mistakes. I was like, this is easy to do wrong. And then, and then this person wrote an article about. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Okay, well now let's uh, let's start painting the background. Just uh, Back to change the. There we go. Let me clean my palette a little bit, just a little bit, so that it gives me room for the background. Another thing that I like to do is when I'm painting the background, I like to edit, and you'll see me right now. It's it's basically negative painting or or cutout painting. Uh, but it helps me uh, reestablish the drawing part or the figures. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. Look at that. See you loving all the tones, very nice. Thank you so much. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. We go again so every time that we go by we we refine it a little bit more you know it's, it's always to be edited and refined Remember generations uh, Bob Ross? I love that. 
Background is pushing it forward, yeah. Did you find the Windsor and Newton brushes a bit awkward to use? Um, I'm not using them. I'm, I'm using I'm using Princeton. So they look like the Windsor and Newton ones, I think, because the Windsor and Newton ones are green as well. Uh, these ones are Princeton. Uh, they're they're not they're not difficult to use. They're they're pretty pretty uh pretty nice, pretty easy, this one's. And then at the end of the day, what I do with all these paintings, I auction them on, on eBay. I end up auctioning them. I start my auctions at $1. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my work out there. Um, but uh, this is what I've been doing with the smaller paintings. I'm also painting larger paintings, but I'm not auctioning those. I uh, The larger pieces, I'm going to be... Uh, putting them on my website, on my Jose Trujillo art website. Uh, I'm preparing a, a few of those to be placed on my website. Because I I really enjoy painting large too, although I don't I don't always have time to paint large pieces. Most of the pieces I paint are small. Um, but I do enjoy painting those as well. When when time allows it. I'm, I'm more than eager to paint, e eager to paint one. There we go. Look at that. Oh, thank you so much. Put a little bit of Then we we can put a little bit more blue or green in the background. It it makes it uh it gives it more 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 uh, more movement and the movement brings more uh, makes it more dynamic. Depending on what you're doing the movement of the brush it makes it more dynamic. We sign this. Another brush. And we're gonna sign it right here. Trujillo. Let me put a the little antennas of our little bee. There we go. And there it is. Why did you uh, stop saying world's greatest living artist? Oh, I haven't. I still say it. I still I still remind people that I am the world's greatest living artist. I just it's not the only thing I say now. I say other other crazy things. I purchased some uh, small works you had on eBay, sailboats hanging in the hall, in our hallway. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Appreciate your patronage, salty heart. I have uh, a little. I have a title for your painting, The Messenger. What do you think? I love it. I love The Messenger. It's a perfect title. I think uh, I think that title is, is what we're going to use. It is perfect. 
There we go. Let me show you what it looks like from the front. Uh, and I will be, I'll, I'll try to show up uh, as often as possible, my hands here. I'll try to show up as, oops, sorry about that. There we go. I hope you can see the painting here. Look at that. Very simple. Look at all that brush stroke. All the brush work. It's very simple. It's not it's not too complicated. What it is 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 um is that when you step back when you step back it comes together. It's only when you step back that the paintings come together. And you when you move forward it's 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 a it's an entire mess, you know. It's a it's a full on Monet. <laughs> but that's that's the beauty of mixing uh, impressionistic brushstrokes and and expressionism together. So there it is, my friends. Hopefully you enjoy this. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will be back. We're gonna do another session. Hopefully, uh, God willing, tomorrow we'll do another session and 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 I'll show you more about my my color palette. Look at all that white. Thank you so much, Charlie. I appreciate it. There's a blue that I use. This is Thalo blue. This is Viridian right here. Um, this is yellow, pale hue. It's a cad yellow. This is a cad red. It's a cadmium, cadmium red. This is a deep hue. This is dioxazone purple, magenta, and of course, lamp, lamp black. And that becomes my, uh, this is my little sanctuary right there. So hopefully you enjoy this. Thank you so much. And I'll be, uh, I'll be showing you guys some more stuff tomorrow. There's my heater. I'm in my studio right here right now. So we got some paintings ready to be shipped out. I'm going to sell packaging some work. And so here we are. Hey, thank you so much. Stay well. Stay well, everybody. Stay well and sophisticated. And, uh, and we'll hang out again. Take care. Peace out.